Hi everybody, welcome to 2C4D Games. I'm T. Lindsay B. And 2C4D means we are too chill for debating games because we're just here to have fun. And I have another load order for you guys for Skyrim on Xbox. This time I want to just show you guys how sometimes less is best. Less is more. I think that's a saying. I don't know. But the point is, instead of doing 150 mods and just trying to blow it out of the water with just as many features as possible, there is a way that we on Xbox can have a kind of ultra modded experience. And I want to make, well, kind of an ultra modded Xbox mod list, but with less than 100 mods. And I was able to kind of put some things together and work out to be around 70 mods, I think. So my focus was on beauty, gameplay mechanics, and just making the game as Skyrim lore friendly as possible, but also as different as possible. Specifically for those of you that are new to modding. So if you're just starting to mod on Xbox, I think you're gonna like this. I mean, even if it's just to get your feet wet, you're gonna see the potential of modding and it's gonna blow you away. I mean, if you're a first timer, that is. So you use this load order, just give it a shot before you make any changes or any edits to, to it. Just check it out. Let me know what you think. And just tell me how it made you feel from the very moment you booted up your system. Like from the main menu on, we just want a completely revived Skyrim experience. From the gameplay, gameplay mechanics, to the NPC, just to the environment, the quest, everything is touched in some way and we were able to do it for considerably fewer than 100 mods and save you plenty of space to make necessary edits to your roleplay if you choose to. If you're an experienced modder and you want to give my preferred low order here a try, definitely it's for everybody. You know finagle with it you know do whatever you got to do to make it yours but keep in mind sometimes making these load orders it's like a fragile ecosystem one little change here or there can kind of throw things off a little bit and then you spend less time gaming and more time trying to fix and adjust the load order which can be frustrating so i tested this to make sure it's good to go as is and it's performance friendly as well and I'm using lots of bundles so you get all of the features that you would normally want in the game in one mod slot. That's how we were able to keep it under 100. The world looks beautiful. The game plays smooth. It's crisp. And there's so many new features from different mod authors in this. Just to make it feel like a fresh and new experience, you should have at least played Skyrim once on vanilla so that you can really appreciate all of these adjustments, all of these improvements, the higher resolution. It's just a nice looking game and that was the first thing that I prioritized was how the game looked. Then of course how well the game played. It's crash free, I can guarantee you that. And you know just making sure that it would be an easier load order for people to add to and take away from safely. So hopefully I was able to achieve that and whether you're playing on next gen or you're playing on last gen, you should get a pretty good performance from this. If not, just swap out where necessary the environment mods or add performance mods or do whatever you got to do to make it play best for you. But it's playing good for me and I highly recommend it and I wanted to share it with everybody. So hope you like this load order. As always, I will go through each and every mod telling you what they are and how they're going to impact your game. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If I can answer it, maybe someone else can, maybe one of my subscribers can give you some advice or help you out. Especially if I can't get back to you quick enough, I try to respond to everyone. I'm making this a considerably longer intro than normal because I wanted you guys to see some of this gameplay. I wanted you to see some of the features that have added into the game so I don't have to go through each of those things with footage or anything like that, I like to show you how some of the mods are going to affect your game as well. But considering that we're, sh I'm showing off fewer mods this time around, I can spend a little bit more time talking about each of the mods and explaining them to you. 
So this is definitely a load order for beginners. It's also a load order for those experienced with modding and want to have more of an ultra modded experience for Xbox, that is. And if that's you, then this load order is for you. Stay tuned, check it out, and like and subscribe and all that other stuff if you like my channel and all the load orders that I do. Let's go.
First, we have the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, which many of the mods that we're using today requires this mod. Our Reconciliation, QOL, and Bug Fixes mods are back, as long with the Reconciliation USSEP patch, which is required or else some quests will be broken, in addition to the Reconciliation gameplay and quest alterations by Snipey360. Here's a complete list of what they cover. Reforging to the masses adds hundreds of weapons to the game with simple workaround framework, another master file that many mods that, well, a couple of mods that we're using require. We have visible favorited gear, which is gonna let us see all of our favorite gear on our bodies, as well as cloaks and capes expanded. Everyone gets cloaks and capes and the consistency patch is gonna be required. Paper style interface with vulture font overhaul is my go-to for our menu and gameplay interface. Just choose if you like the cursive that comes with it or not. I like vulture font. Deja Shamanic Music adds 86 new music tracks and replaces the soundtrack with over a thousand new sound effects from Audio SFX Overhaul. I'm using the No Voices version. You can use the bigger file size one if you want new voices in the game. Busty Skeever so we can customize our camera, field of view, first and third person, etc. with young lovers adding lots of romantic dialogue for you and whoever you're romancing in the game with Serana expanded adding only about 100 new lines of dialogue for her. J Serpa's quest expansion is going to give us more expansive side quests, a lot more involved than in vanilla with a lot more uh, dialogue as well from different factions. It's really going to open up a lot of the, I guess, radiant quests and things like that that didn't get much attention in vanilla. There's going to be new NPCs and ways to finish those quests with Epic Crap Logbringer letting you take over bandit camps and turn them over to the faction of your choice. Times have changed, a quality of life thing that lets you change when certain quests start in the world. Wearable lanterns will let us craft and wear lanterns. Unlimited rings and amulets will let us wear unlimited all of those. Rich Merchants of Skyrim gets 10,000 gold to all the merchants. And this Gamer Polly is genius. Perks and magic mega bundle has all the magic and spells in one mod slot apocalypse odin Vokri. it's all here you can see from the description thank you gamer polly this saves me this saves us what like seven mod slots for all of the magic that we can have in the game it's like the og stuff the old school stuff it's all here thank you gamer polly Summer Mist Enchantments is going to give us all of these new enchantments for weapons and armor. And with Rebalanced Level List, this tiny little mod is going to make every end of dungeon loot chest massive for you with like the most powerful stuff in it. And when you kill dragons, same thing. Best stuff from level one. AI Overhaul 1.8.3 1 is like Immersive Citizens. Use Immersive Citizens if you would rather. Just be sure to use all of the patches required with this low order. 
Skyrim of Tamriel Redid is our static mesh improvement mod, which is gonna beautify the decor and all of the objects in the world to two and 4K resolutions and make them look really nice and much more realistic. Food, furniture, all that good stuff is gonna look better. With Skyland enchanting tables, we're gonna get new 2K retextures and SLD potions and poison bottles. Polly's very attractive Skyrim. Here's gamer Polly again, blowing my mind. This is much like the last one I used in my previous low order. So the world's gonna be just as beautiful and you saw some of the footage in the intro. The architecture is gonna be really nice and this covers everything, your landscapes. It's blended roads, majestic landscapes, cathedral snow, um, dungeons, caves, everything's included. This particular one, maybe Game, Gamer Poly can give us more insight, but this one is like 200 megabytes smaller than the one I used in the last low order. So this is saving us even more space, but, but we're getting to get 2K, 4K, high definition stuff. So that's a plus. So this is for our architecture and Skyrim of Tamriel just happens to have some smaller features that I really like. And for our road signs, we're going with HD hand painted road signs. And JK Skyrim all-in-one completely redoes our cities and towns, making them look much nicer, just exterior-wise. And we're gonna follow that up with JK's AI overhaul. If you're using Immersive Citizens, you play Immersive Citizens at the bottom of your load order with all the necessary patches. Because you will need a patch for JKs with Immersive Citizens in the Great City of Solitude, just expanding Solitude so it looks nicer. Better Tell Mithrin, so many features added to Tell Mithrin and Solstheim to make it nicer. Crusader, a Dawn Guard bundle is going to overhaul our Dawn Guard faction. It's going to overhaul their fort. At the very start of the game, you will be able to immediately fast travel there. It's going to be completely furnished and everything kind of inside for the most part. And it's going to change their armor, weapons, dialogue options, and stuff like that for the faction and for Serana. For weather, I'm going with 2021's Cathedral Weathers, but you can use whatever weather you want. I'm still die hard with Dawn Weathers. Dawn Weathers um, is my go-to, but this plays really nicely with this load order. ELE interior lighting overhaul, very simple lighting overhaul. And it works with JK's, so it's my go-to. Nothing else has worked with JK so far for me. Ultimate HD fire effects is gonna give us a boost to all of our fire effects in the game, everything from magic to torches. Uh, VAE2, visual animated enchantments for our weapons. So our weapons look awesome when they're enchanted. And RAS shaders and effects is gonna make it so we can see snow and, and water on our bodies. There will be blood and bubbles is a bloody mod that also makes us get dirty and NPCs get dirty and you can wash up, there'll be soaps and ends and everywhere so you could stay clean and JK's interiors all in one makes for beautiful interiors all across the mainland of Skyrim and it requires the ELE patch. Um, if you don't run the ELE patch, some of the interiors are going to be broken. So if you're using ELE lighting, make sure you have a patch that goes with JK's interiors, regardless of what lighting you use. Check it out! The college has got so many books here! I've never been to a proper library before. We kind of had one back on the island, but can you compare that to this? To think, all the countless books they have stored here. The decades, the eras of knowledge. The tales of stories of heroes of old, fables, legends, all sorts of narratives. I know we have important things to do, but... Don't you think it would be a good idea if we'd relax here for a bit? Just browse what they have to offer. Disappointed is not the word I would choose, Colette. 
Land posts to Skyrim, 250 land posts to the roads. Amazing follower tweaks gives you five followers, not including animals. Hearthfire multiple adoptions adopt up to six kids and improved adoptions improves those children's AI with each other and with your spouse and gives them kind of a life of their own where they do more things in the world. Violence is required by another mod we're running here, but it's your VATS pretty much. Um, yeah, it lets you turn on and off decapitations and do a, a number of other things. Followed by Lawless Light, which is a complete overhaul of the bandit system, both in Skyrim and in DLC, giving you special bandit factions with unique abilities and, and stats. And Sivas Ron Creatures and Wildlife is going to give us new textures and mesh replacers of almost every creature and monster from the vanilla game is going to get a new look to them rs children optimize better potato heads and this is my hair picks um this is just a small ks hairdo mod that gives you a few hairstyles for both males and females if you don't want to invest in one of those large mods that you're not going to use after player creation anyway along with lore friendly hair so those that don't get like super high poly hairstyles they won't have that weird looking vanilla hair anymore um ubpt is going to be a full-on overhaul of female skin eyes and other features brows and stuff like that for uh your female player character and uh the females in the world of the game Bijan all in one is going to give us new looks for females in the game some female npcs um the marriageable ones follower followers etc pandorable mega pack pretty much doing the same thing about 200 npcs almost 200 npcs are going to get a head to toe um overhaul or a head to toe makeover pyro kittens for the coolest kittens coolest cats in the world um, for our Khajiit and wash your face is going to give everybody a cleaner face and improve their skin tones as well so their faces aren't dirty for no reason racial body morphs is going to is the extreme version so orcs are big high elves are really tall the cats are smaller and the wood elves are smaller etc auto unequipped shield the back is going to let us wear shields on our back in addition to equip on back xpm sse is our skeletal mod and it works with equip on back so that our shields don't clip with our cloaks and our weapons and this is also going to give us new weapons in the game as well so this mod does quite a few things and has quite a few functions and we're also going to need it to work with gdp's impossible animations this is going to be our idle animations as well as our combat animations that are very much um elden ring like and there's so many different animations and, and movements and things you're going to be able to do and it's going to also affect npcs and followers as well they're going to be able to do many of these things so highly recommend you check it out let me know what you think about gdb's impossible animations divergence vanilla pack all in one this is the lower resolution 1k and 512 that completely overhauls the armor clothing and weapons to a brand new look so much cooler looking too in comparison to vanilla it's like a vanilla plus 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 highly recommend it believable weapons is like lean wolf's better shaped weapons which is going to reshape a lot of the weapons in the game making them look thinner sleeker faster mari's flora is going to overhaul all of the flora and ingredients in the game and there's gamer poly again blowing my mind with happy little trees 2k which is is a texture replacer for all of the vanilla trees in the game and adds a few trees as well and is extremely 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 performance friendly so if you need performance friendly trees there you go and my personal favorite critically acclaimed grass mod the grass your mother warned about which you have to play down here below mari's because they both affect the ferns and this one needs to overwrite it but i love that grass with all of the extra flora that it adds in with landscape fixes for grass mods to keep grass from growing excessively on roads and stuff like that 
Atlas map markers will give us 700 new map markers and alternate start will let us skip the opening sequence. Character creation overhaul will give us some perks at the start of the game to kind of let you boost your character, make them a little OP. At game start, relationship dialogue overhaul is going to add over 5,000 new lines of dialogue to NPCs in the world. And that requires the RDO AFT uh, patch to go with amazing follower tweaks. And last but not least, as always, is our water. Realistic water too is what I'm going with this time because this is a beautification load order. And it's just the nicest water mod, in my opinion, as far as looks and sound. I usually run the quieter water, which is fine for a smaller file size. But realistic water is faster, louder running water. And we're just going to go with the sound effects for this. And it looks nice as well. So that's the end of this load order. Hopefully you guys like it. Give it a try as is, please, before you add anything to it. I can't guarantee that your load order will run perfectly if you modify this as it is. It's a fragile ecosystem. So definitely if you want to use it as a base, please use this load order as your base and then kind of add a mod to it one at a time and see how it plays so that it's going to be easier for you to make adjustments if something is conflicting and causing an issue. Hope you guys liked the vid. See you in the comments. Later, everybody. Stay chill.